Hello, future winners! Today is Sunday. That means that we are looking at amazing chess studies. All three that we are looking today are made by same person. So here is the first one and white draws. Just to mention that black is threatening to promote a pawn to a queen. So what should white do? The right move is rook h8. And after king g7, a black is threatening to take rook and to promote to a queen at the same time. So white played the rook g8, king h7. And here's the move. Bishop h2. So white gave black to take with check and his rook is still attacked. But now comes the trick. White plays. He let black to give him check on c3 and then to take rook because of steel mate. But first, let me show you what happens after rook b2. Then it's easier to see. We play king a1 and after king g8 it's steel mate. But let's see this line. Knight c3. King c1, of course, if he takes on g8, it's still mid. So black needs to play rook a1, but then king b2, and after king b1, king a3. And it's the same story again. So black can take on g8 because of steel mate. So rook a1 and again. So it's a draw. And that's how white succeeded to make a draw in that position. So never give up and always try to make some incredible ways to make a draw or to win the game. Let's move to the second one. White wins. But how? D7. Let's talk about what doesn't uh, make any problems for white, and that's rook a8 because of knight c8. So let's move to the rook d1 test. Here's where white plays knight f5. And he is going to manipulate with black's king because those knights are going to be so active that they are going to threaten everything. So knight f5. Let's look at uh, king h3 first, and then knight g5, and then king h2, because it's the only move where uh, double attack doesn't occur. For example, on king g4 we can play knight e3. So let's not look at those moves. King h2. Beautiful move comes to the game. Knight d4. And that's what I was talking about. If he takes, then knight f3. And black rook can't control d1 anymore. But let's look at a more complicated move. That's king h5. Then we play knight f6 and we also got both of our knights to the game and they are both playing and very active so if black plays king g5 then we can play knight d6 and after taking knight e4 that's why king g6 is a better move but then knight d5 and again he can't take because of knight e7. And it's game over. Here, white is winning the game. Looks unbelievable, but it's possible. And here's how. Knight c1 first. And black has two options. To give check and then to take pawn on b5 or to immediately take pawn on b5. Let's see what happens if he gives check first, because then our king is closer to the pawns. 
so first taking on b5 is more logical. But let's see. King c2, rook c5, and if he takes on c1, then comes king d4, and king is too close to the pawns, and they are simply going to promote. It's a one position. So that's of course not a good decision. That's why black takes on b5. But then c7, and here's a catch. After rook b8, we can take and promote to a queen because it's still mate. The same goes with the rook. That's why we need to promote to a bishop. And I hope that you know how to mate with bishop and knight. And in that case, you will be very lucky and win the game. So that's other way how white wins. But what happens if black takes on b5 immediately without letting white to go with king? Then c7. And the uh, problem is that black can't play uh, rook to c5 because of knight b3 and double attack. Let me show you. So that's why, of course, check. But now, how white is going to make it? Because if he moves his king, then black can simply play rook c5 and then there is no double attack. So white played knight d3 and it is winning the game. This knight is protecting c5, so black needs to take, but then king c2. And you may think it's the end because uh, black can't uh, give check and take this pawn. But actually, there's one more thing to consider. And that's rook d4. Because rook c4 happens. And after taking, it's still mid. But we have other options. And that's to promote to rook. We are threatening mate on a8. So black needs to play rook a4 to protect it. But then comes king b3. Rook is attacked. And we are threatening to play rook c1 checkmate. So black can simply resign. Always look at the hidden options in your game. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and see you next week.